Hi everyone, and welcome back to our series on Mastering Notion. In the last video, we covered how to create and manage pages. Today, we'll focus on the basics of navigating within Notion and create our own custom navigation. Let's get started. Okay, to start, let's quickly review the main components of Notion's interface that are relevant for navigation. So this includes the sidebar on the left here. We also have the top bar, and then we have our main workspace. Now, the sidebar on the left here is our primary navigation tool. This is where we can find all of our pages, our workspaces, and then just easily switch between them. The top bar is where we can find the breadcrumb trail between uh, subsequent pages. And we also, at the top left, we have our search bar, which can also be used for uh, navigating within Notion as well. And then finally, we have the main workspace, which is our main page in the center here. And this is where we can create our own custom uh, navigation as well to navigate between all of our pages and our different sections. Let's first talk about the sidebar as it's pretty straightforward. We see on the left here that all of our pages we have created show up here under private. All of the nested pages, so our to-do list recipe ideas and so on, are nested within our homepage, which we can collapse by clicking on it here. Let's say we had a lot of pages and a lot of workspaces in our sidebar, and we wanted to quickly access our favorite pages. We can click on the three dots here, and then we can add to favorites. You'll see that uh, this page will now show up at the favorites here, and all of your favorite pages will show up at the top, so they're really easily accessible. Another way to navigate quickly is just using the search bar. Uh, over time, your Notion workspace will inevitably fill up with many, many different pages. And so if you need to find something quickly, you can go into the search here, or you can just press Control P, and this will pull up the search bar as well. So that is the most basic way to navigate around Notion is using the sidebar. Uh, but let me show you some more advanced ways to navigate around Notion, and that's by creating custom navigation. And so if we take a look at our homepage here, we have four different pages. And we're going to create a custom navigation that allows us to move between all of these pages really easily. First, let's uh, full width here so we can get a better view of what's going on. So what we're going to do next is now create our own little custom navigation bar. And we can do this by creating a link to all of these different pages. And by doing that, we can bring up the block menu by typing in slash. And then we can type in either link or mention. So let's link one of these pages. We'll click on link to page, and we're going to select our to-do list. You can see now there are two copies of this page. Really, there's only one, which is our main to-do list page here. And then we have a kind of like a shortcut, a link to this uh, individual page. Let's do that again for recipe ideas. So we're going to click on slash. We're going to click on link. Then we're going to type in a recipe, and it should show up here. There we go. And now let's arrange them in, an, in a little line here. Great, let's do this for the next two, which is travel and personal calendar. We're gonna type in link, travel, and there we go. We have created uh, little shortcuts to each of our main pages. And if we arrange them like so, we can now create a little navigation bar. I'm gonna add in some dividers to make it look nice. We can either do this by typing in slash and typing in divider, or we can use a little hotkey, which if you are learning Notion, I would definitely try to learn as many hotkeys as possible. And it's just typing in the hyphen uh, three times, one, two, three. And there we go. Now, if I move this at the top here, we have our own little navigation bar, which will allow us to move between all of these pages. The next thing we're gonna do is to copy the navigation bar we've created. We're gonna do this by holding shift and clicking on everything. This will highlight uh, everything we've created. We're going to control C and then we're going to come into each page and we're going to paste it as so. So here, once we paste it, we're going to see something uh, pop up here. We now have the option to create a synced block and that's what we're going to do. We're going to click on paste and sync. And so this will create a synced block for our navigation and this will now link this navigation bar to the original. So any changes we make inside this sync block will affect all the other synced blocks. So let's go back to the home page here. What we should do now is add in a, a link to the home page within our navigation bar. And so let's do that right now. Let's type in link, link to page, 
we'll click on my home page. We're then going to move this to the uh, to the navigation bar. Now, since this was a synced block, we'll notice that the sync block has also updated in our to-do list. Let's add our navigation to the rest of the pages. We'll click on recipe here. We'll add in our synced block. Let's maybe make this uh, full width here so we can see this a bit better. We'll do again to travel plans, full screen, personal calendar, paste and sync, then full width this here. I think we've got to do our to-do list as well. This is full width. Good. And now we have our custom navigation. And so we can easily navigate between uh, these five pages really, really quickly. One last way we can create a navigation bar similar to this is by using a callout box. So if we type in slash and type in callout, this will create a box here. We can then call this navigation and maybe add in a little compass maybe. And then we can do the exact same by creating links to these pages and putting them inside the navigation bar here. So just as we did before, we can add all of our links to this uh, navigation callout box. There we go. Now we have two versions of custom navigation. Just like we did with the uh, first navigation bar, we could, we could copy uh, the link to this block and if we go into an individual page we can paste it and then click paste and sync just as we did before and now we have a different version of a navigation bar now one last thing we should talk about uh, in terms of navigation are backlinks and breadcrumbs you can now see here on our home page we have something that just popped up here called one backlink if we click here we can now see that there is a page linking to this page. Uh, so if we click into our to-do list, our sync block is linking back to home using this link page that we have created earlier. And so that is what we are seeing here, this backlink. And so if you have many pages that are linking to another page, you can see all of the backlinks uh, to this page just by clicking this here. The last thing is also breadcrumb trails. So we can see that we have our breadcrumb trail here. This is another way to navigate. And so if we have pages inside pages inside pages, we can come to the top and navigate uh, this way. Another way to use breadcrumb trails is breadcrumb can actually be a block. So if we type in slash and type in breadcrumbs, we can then create a breadcrumb trail uh, just like this as well on our page. And so this is another form of navigation that we have. We can also navigate uh, inside pages, especially pages that have uh, a large amount of text using a table of contents. And so table of contents uh, is also a block. So if you type in slash, type in table, we can have an advanced block here called table of contents. And so we don't see anything here, but once we start adding headings um, and subheadings to our page, it will fill out this uh, table of contents here. And so let's try and fill in some custom information so we can see what that looks like. For this, I'm going to use the help of Notion AI. I'm going to hit space and I'm going to say, give me five recipe ideas using markdown headings and subheadings. Okay, there we go. And if we come up to the top here, we can see now that our table of contents uh, has filled out using the headings in the document. And so we have chicken tikka masala, which I can scroll down here, or I can click on beef tacos. We also have a table of contents on the right here, uh, which is also another easy way of navigating using uh, headings. Now, if this table of contents uh, kind of gets in the way and is a little annoying, we can change it here by coming over to the three dots and deselecting table of contents. Great. And that's it for navigating inside Notion. To recap, we covered the key navigation techniques in Notion, including custom navigation. These tools will help you navigate your workspace just much more smoothly. In the next video, we'll dive into Notion's powerful block features, which are essential for creating and organizing your content effectively.